There's never a good time to deliver bad news. The worse the news, the longer you procrastinate. And before you know it, a day becomes a week, which becomes a month. And even then, it doesn't matter how well you know somebody, you can never be sure how they'll react. It's too much to absorb at once, something like that. It's so big, it needs time to squeeze itself into your mind. And when it does, it's like being hit by a car. Why? Why me? Is that everyone's first question, I wonder? It was mine, for sure. Is it ever answered? I hope so. What did I do to deserve to have this taken away from me? Am I selfish for thinking that? It's not me dying. Maybe that's why. Is it selfish to want the person you love to not die? What am I supposed to do when he's gone? It's unthinkable. How can that world even exist? I feel so weak. It's only been a week of the treatment. In my body and my heart, I'm so tired of fighting it already. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's not worth it. There's an hourglass in my mind, and it's been turned over. Every hour, every day, every night, I'm watching that sand funnel away. But no one's told me how much sand is in there, not exactly only it may run out very soon. May run out. It's that tiny speck of hope that keeps me from losing my mind completely. There are good days where everything is normal. No one talks of chemo or estates or asks how I feel. And then there are bad days where the sheer weight of the illness is too great even to share. But there are worse days when the fear so utterly inescapable, drowns us so completely. How can love turn to hate so easily? Affection to resentment. How can those who claim to love us the most cut us the deepest? How can it be forgotten so easily? So fully. If this is so strong, who would be so cruel as to take it away from us? That's it, I'm done. I've got to close. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
Let's go for a meal after this. Yeah, that's nice. How about we get... No, let's get pizza. And we can have one of those carpet picnics, because we've not done that for ages. Yeah, OK. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> plan. Um, have you got your purse on them? Um, I'll go and pay. I've not finished yet. No, but if I if I go and pay now, then we can go straight away. You not brought your wallet with you? Uh, no, I've um, I've left it in the car. Tip the car. <laughs> Why is there a ring in my cake? Really? Well? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there is so much I will never experience. Even if I live to fulfil all the days I, I always thought I was promised. Even if I live for 200 years. So I've learnt to appreciate the experiences I have had and simply not to want for more. To simply be content Friend. This is the hardest thing that anyone can ever do. When hope finally dies, the bitterness takes its place. An emotional gangrene that spreads, rotting the spirit, untreatable like an extension of the leukaemia. It is the incredible excitement and anticipation that makes the final disappointment so much more difficult to bear. And that disappointment feels so egotistical. What purpose does my death serve? I've always believed things happen for a reason. Something maybe not obvious at first, but you can sort of make sense of it afterwards. How does this make sense? How the hell will it help Kirsty? He's slipping away from me, faster each day, a little more every hour, fading like the light in the sky at the end of a warm day, leaving only the cold and darkness. I think if I could miss things afterwards, it'd be the small things, the trivial things, the smell of Kirsty's hair after a shower, the glow of sunlight through a window, the sound of rain on the roof of a car. I've tried to fill my heart with these things, to help me find peace and acceptance with the inevitable. And I do see the beauty that before I was blind to. All that which will be lost to me when I go. I'm still just scared. But there is another feeling. One that took me a long time to identify. Guilt. I'm guilty of abusing the time I had, of wasting it, of watching it trickle away. You assume it's infinite. It's not. Some are gifted with years of life. Others only minutes of it. Although eventually, inevitably, it, it runs, runs out. out.
the world keeps turning. Time moves on. Fight as we will. It drags us with it. <laughs>